Hi, Otto here for Bavarian Autosport. In today's video, we're going to be replacing the electric water pump in a late model BMW with the N series six cylinder engine. Now these use electric water pumps versus your more common engine driven pump. Now while these electrically controlled cooling systems might improve efficiency, power, and emissions, we're also finding that these are failing as early as 50,000 miles. Now if you look at the system, it'll look fairly buried under the right side of the engine, but in reality, it's a pretty straightforward DIY task. Now in this job, we're going to of course be replacing the water pump, but we'll also replace the thermostat because the only way to remove it is to first remove the water pump, so we'll put a new one on. We'll replace this water pump to thermostat hose, which goes between the two, because we'll have it in our hand. We won't especially replace the other hoses we'll be disconnecting, because the other ends of the hoses are difficult to get to, so we'll only replace those if needed. Now we'll also be using the BMW coolant, and remember only use this with distilled water. Some of the tools we'll be using are our catch pan, our garage guard to catch any splashing that makes it outside of the pan. We'll be using our no spill funnel here. The form of funnel, which will allow us to keep coolant directed if it's falling on top of a cross member or something else. Our flex driver for the hose clamps. And of course our safe grip gloves. Now remember, if you find this video helpful, hit your like button and you can follow us on Twitter and like us on Facebook. Additionally, you can check our tech blog at blog.bavauto.com. And all of the parts you see us use and most of the tools are available in our online store at bavauto.com. Now let's go ahead and get to work. All right, so here we are under our vehicle. We're ready to remove the splash pan to start accessing the water pump and the thermostat. Now before we do, this is going to be a slightly messy job. We are going to be spilling coolant that is going to be hard to catch. We'll be using our coolant catch pan, but also we're going to put down our uh, garage guard mat to catch the additional spilling that might go past the pan. And of course, we're going to use our safe grip gloves. We'll get set up with that and we'll come back and show you once this panel is removed. There are a few fasteners around the perimeter some cars are a little bit different. Just get your splash panel off and then we'll show you that. Okay, now we are going to get the power steering cooler lines out of the way here. You can see these lines are mounted with a bracket here and a bracket here. With the rubber in the middle, we only need clearance under the water pump. We're just going to remove the bracket mount here. And this involves this 10 millimeter nut and this rubber isolator. Now, if we try to turn the lock nut it's going to turn the isolator. So there is a hex on the isolator. This is 17 millimeters. We'll get our wrench on the hex so we can turn the nut without tearing up the isolator. And there's the nut here. And you can see we'll just push this up through the mount, move it aside, and we'll just push the hose out of the way over here. All right, now that we have the power steering line out of the way, we are ready to drop the sway bar. We're just going to remove the two nuts on each of the brackets and allow the bar to just swing down out of the way to clear the water pump that's right here. We'll start here. Okay, that's our fourth and final nut. Now we're ready to pull the bar down. Now, there we go, that came easily. We may have to pry between the brackets, but that one came easily. And we'll just let the bar hang out of the way here. Now I'm actually going to use a piece of wire to hang the bar all the way up so I don't hit my head on it while it's hanging down here. Okay, here we are under the vehicle and uh, we have the water pump exposed. Now this is on the passenger side of the car. We have the camera positioned 
on the driver's side, shooting toward the passenger side, upward. So you're looking at the oil pan, steering rack, subframe member, and here's the pump. We have some hoses and some connections to take care of. We have a recirc hose here that goes from the pump to the thermostat. And we're going to start by loosening this hose clamp, pulling that off. Now that is going to dump our coolant. So we'll get our catch pan underneath. Before we do that, we're going to unplug the water pump plug here. And uh, to do that, we will, there's a pinch uh, tab on the back here. So we'll push that and we'll just use a screwdriver to lever the plug back because we don't have much room to grab it and move around with it. So we'll take that and just let it stay out of the way. Push it over here. So the head for this hose clamp is right here. It's a standard six millimeter head. So we will use our flexible hose clamp driver and start loosening here. Now we'll also pull our catch pan underneath. We have the Bavarian Auto Sport coolant catch pan here. And get that centered below. Work on loosening the hose clamp here. Okay, there we are, we're starting to lose the coolant. And we'll work the end of this hose a bit. And we're going to use this connection here to drain the majority of our coolant. Uh, all of our connections as we get them loose will drain coolant. So we're, we need to be ready for that, but we'll drain the majority right here. And rather than just popping the hose fully off, we're going to leave it at kind of a drip rate like this. That way we'll make less of a mess. We'll get that drained and when we come back we'll go to the next stage. Okay now we're just about drained. We did work the hose back just far enough to drain a little bit faster but not so much that we would have just a big gush uh, going all over the place. So we were able to control the drainage pretty well. Now as I noted this is just one drain point. As we, as we take off each hose we will lose more coolant. I'm going to take this hose clamp and pull it out of the way. There we go. And just uh, tip this hose to make sure everything's out of this hose at least. Okay, there we go. Now, the next hose is on the front of the water pump. It's up here. Okay, now we are reframed. We're looking at this from the passenger side looking rearward at the pump. Again, the pump is here. And this is the hose we just took off on the outlet of the pump. And right above is the other fitting on the pump. And this hose clamp right here is the one that we need to release. Again, we'll use our flex driver. Now with the setup we have right now for the camera, we can't work underneath to get that. So we'll reframe. We'll take this uh, hose clamp off and then we'll get to the rest of the fittings. Okay, now we are ready to undo the hose clamp we showed you on the pump outlet. And that is straight up here. We'll use the flex driver. And loosen this. Now remember, there's more coolant, so we need to keep our drain pan underneath. We'll get this hose clamp good and loose so we can pull the hose off. There we go, it's moving freely. Okay, now we're ready to remove the two lower mounting bolts on the water pump, and then we will go over and remove a hose fitting up here on the thermostat so that we can get to the upper bolt on the water pump. And for the moment, we'll remove these Torx bolts. This is an E12 socket. And we have these sets at uh, Bavarian Autosport in our website. These are aluminum bolts that mount the water pump. And these must be replaced every time. These are not to be reused. And number two. Now we'll reframe so we can work on the uh, hose on the thermostat up here. Now we've reframed. We're in the front of the car on the passenger side looking upward at the 
back side, or well really the forward side of the water pump, over here is the thermostat, we're going to disconnect this plastic elbow that goes to the front side of the thermostat. Now this has the quick disconnect on it with the uh, clip that we just pry the clip upward just like the upper radiator hoses that you'd be familiar with on these later cars where we pull the clip up and then pull the uh, pull the hose off. Now I have the end of the pin, the clip, pushed up. I'm going to use this other screwdriver to get under the head of the clip that uh, we would normally just grasp and pull up to then pull the whole clip up from above. Okay, there we go. It's all pushed up. Now this hose is ready to come off. Now, as with before, we don't want coolant to get into the camera, so we're going to get our uh, drain pan under here and work the hose off. We'll show you the initial stage there, and then we'll get the camera out of the way when we do the rest of the uh, draining. Now this is going to drain on the section of the cross member here, so it's going to go both directions, so just be careful with your pan. And we'll help the hose come off. All right, now the hose is completely off. And the reason we removed that connection is in order to get to the upper bolt on the water pump, which is up in here. Now before we continue further, we're going to remove these two bolts that secure the thermostat to the water pump in preparation for pulling the water pump out. We'll be pulling the water pump before the thermostat. So we'll just get these bolts out. And there's two. Now you can see the thermostat is loose. We're ready to undo the upper water pump mounting bolt. Then we'll come back here and physically remove the water pump. Now we're ready to get to the upper bolt on the water pump up here. Remember, we've disconnected this hose on the thermostat. We have loosened the thermostat from the water pump, and now we can access that bolt. Now, there is a cable that runs across and you can't see it in this frame, but there's a clamp right in front of the bolt up there that the cable is in. We need to pull the cable out of the clamp and then push the clamp off of the water pump. The clamp is pinched onto the webbing on the water pump and we push it this way with a screwdriver from over here to access the uh, bolt fully. Now here's our E12 Torx and we have a universal and some extensions and of course our ratchet. We're going to fit below this coolant hose up between the thermostat and the water pump and onto our bolt. We use two hands to get it on here. Okay, there it's on. We're ready for the ratchet. And there we go. Now I'll take the ratchet off and see if I can just hand thread this. Kind of slippery with coolant, but there it goes. And there we go. Here's our bolt, and you can see the water pump is fully loose now. Now we'll get ready to remove the water pump from the thermostat hose, pull it down, then we'll get the thermostat out. All right, now we have our pump fully disconnected, and we're ready to lower it down. Now remember, we have the one hose up top on the pump nipple up here, which we didn't disconnect. We undid the hose clamp, but we couldn't pull the hose off yet. So we're going to lower the ho uh, pump, pull it off that nipple, and there we go. There's the nipple, here's the hose clamp from it, and there's the hose. See, this hose won't really move. It's connected onto an immovable uh, hose section uh, behind it, a pipe section. So we have this down and we just need to disconnect the rest of the hoses from the water uh, the uh, thermostat and remove it and pull the electrical connector off over here so we'll get right to that okay now in preparation for removing the thermostat we have the electrical connector here and on the other side of the thermostat we have 
a hose to connect disconnect back here now that's this pipe going up to the fitting here now here's our thermostat here's our electrical connector and note on the forward side there's a tab to pull forward so I'm going to use the screwdriver between the connector and the tab to pull this tab forward pull the plug out and if we just rotate this a little bit to see here's the hose we're disconnecting now now this is one of the snap connect hoses it has the clip on it the clip is facing we pull it this way like toward this nipple so in position up here it's going to go a little bit downward and toward the driver's side of the car we're going to take our screwdriver get right under the top of the clip pull it up and then the hose can be removed so we'll take the electrical connector first and there it is now again I'm going to go between the plug and that tab unlock it and pull the plug out there we go there's the tab now on the hose you won't see this on camera that's why we showed you separately I'm going to get the screwdriver under the clip okay now this is being stubborn so I'm actually going to pry on the flange to help separate it from the thermostat just be careful you certainly don't want to break the plastic flange on the hose uh, I felt it move there let's see if we can wiggle it off now now we have our drain pan back under here in case we have some more fluid coming from this connection there we go okay so here we come let's pull this end out first and then we'll have our final hose clamp connection here all right now on this hose here the reason we didn't disconnect this before now is the hose clamp was clocked in a direction that we could not get a tool on it so we had to remove it this way before we could get to this clamp so we'll use our driver loosen the clamp now what we also want to do when this goes back together we're going to watch the clocking on this clamp so that we can actually get the driver tool on it when it's in place to do the final tightening so we'll have to pay attention to that when we go back together so this should be ready to pull off and we've got our standard hose corrosion keeping it on there so we're going to use a screwdriver again to just break the hose free and we'll just gently get under the hose we don't want to rip it up we just want to break that corrosion bond until we can twist it free there we go so there we have it we'll transfer this hose to the new thermostat make sure it's in the exact same positioning and then we'll come back get the thermostat in place get the new water pump in place now we have everything out of the vehicle I want to point out a couple of things here here's our water pump connector in case keep that over here just out of the way of uh, putting the thermostat back in thermostat connector this is the hose that went to the side port on the water pump that we had uh, trouble pulling off we had to pull the water pump off of it so going back in we'll put it back up onto that hose this is the water pump hose that we removed with the with the uh, hose clamp on it and over here the quick disconnect water pump uh, thermostat hose and our larger quick disconnect thermostat hose so when we fit the thermostat up here we'll be connecting to one and two hoses we'll wait on the big one till we have our bolt for the water uh, pump itself back in up here that one we used with the extension and the universal so at this point also we're going to make sure our hose clamps are clocked properly 
this rear clamp on the upper hose that goes to the uh, side outlet on the water pump. We want to have the head facing the rear at the rear of the car and facing downward. So we just want to make sure it's on like that before we put the water pump on. That way that will assure we can get a tool on it. And this one we want with, uh, we can leave the uh, clamp hanging at the bottom and the head facing the rear and we'll affix that solidly when we get the thermostat up into place.